I, the seeker of adventure, do solemnly swear on the noble art of magic that I will abide by the laws of the land, and that I will always be truthful and wary upon my quest, and that I do not use my magic for personal gain, but to advance peace and prosperity to the inhabitants of the land of make believe upon. Hi guys, I'm Ashley, and today I'm going to be bringing you my May TBR, which is largely revolving around the readathon Believeathon. If you don't know what Believeathon is, this is a middle grade readathon hosted by my lovely friend Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin. If you want the full announcement video, I will of course leave that down below, but basically it is a readathon hosted over two weeks from May 11th to May 24th, where you basically read middle grade books. Now Gavin has actually made a whole compendium for this readathon. So within this compendium, we have the maps that you travel through with all the different prompt locations on it. So the basic aim for the prompts is to start at the bottom of the map and make your way up. Inside this compendium too, we do have all the prompts listed, but also lots of recommendations for middle grade reads. I'll leave all the information that I can find down in the description box. I believe you can still access the map and everything online. You don't have to have this, but I, I had to have this. <laughs> So because of Believeathon, the majority of this TBR will be middle grade books. However, there will also be some other books as well because I can't just read middle grade on month. Shh. <laughs> to start out Believeathon, we do all start at the Poacher's Pocket Inn. And because we're just about to set out and embark on this quest, we have to read the first book in a series. So the first book that I will be reading is Nevermore The Trials of Morrigan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is probably the most well-loved middle grade book that I've seen on booktube. It follows a girl called Morrigan Crow who is destined to die on her 11th birthday. However, just as the clock strikes midnight onto her 11th birthday, a rather eccentric man called Jupiter North comes and whisks her away to the land of Nevermore. That is pretty much all I know about this book. There's something called the Wondrous Society as well, but I'm, I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> This is quite a chunky one for a middle grade, but I'm hoping I still will be able to get through it pretty quickly. I do have high expectations for this because I have not seen a single negative opinion of this book anywhere. So very high expectations for this, but we'll see how it goes. This one and its sequel were actually gifted to me by Gavin too. So thank you very much Gavin for these ones. Next up, I will be visiting Baba Yaga's house because we know I had to do the folklore reference. <laughs> And the challenge for this one is to read a book featuring a family relationship. For this one, I will be reading Wild Spark by Vashti Hardy, which was gifted to me by Jean from Jean Bookish Thoughts. I didn't know too much about this one to begin with, but since receiving it, I feel like I'm just seeing it everywhere and I'm seeing lots of people love it. This one follows a girl called Prue who is trying to get these ghost machines, whatever they are, to remember who they used to be because she's trying to find her brother and if she fails, he will stay dead. But it does also very ominously say on the back that if she succeeds, society will fall apart. So um, that's the, they're, they're, they're not good options to choose from. Would not be happy in that situation. I am however happy to read about that situation and will be doing so in May. <laughs> Next up I will be going to the 100 Acre Wood and the challenge for this one is to read a book with yellow on the cover. So for this one I'm going to be reading Arusha and the End of Time by Rishani Chokshi. This one also happens to be the Mythic read for April and May. If you want to know more about Mythic, there is some information down in the description box. So you can join in our read of that if you still want to, and it does quite nicely fit in Believathon for quite a few different prompts. And just to mention Jean again, I am also buddy reading this one with her in May too. So this book is fulfilling many different things for me in May. We love multitasking. Love it. But this is a middle grade that's inspired by Indian mythology, which is something I haven't really read too much about. And I believe it's part of the Rick Riordan represents thing that's going on. This one follows a girl called Arusha who spends most of her days in a museum while her mother works. She's always kind of looked down upon by her schoolmates, so she tries to show off while she's in this museum. She claims that she can get one particular object to do something. However, when she is messing around and trying to make it look like she can, she accidentally lights up a magic lamp and unleashes an ancient demon into their world. When this happens, everybody freezes in time and it's down to Arusha to try and get back this demon somehow before the ancient god of destruction is awoken, which sounds intense. <laughs> this does also feature reincarnations of the five Pandava, Pandava brothers. I need to google how to pronounce that, I apologise. And I don't know too much about them but I'm going to look into them before I start reading this one because I think it would be really interesting. And I cannot explain how excited I am for this one because I just think it sounds right up my street. Again, this is one that I've only seen good things about. It seems pretty short and I just, I think I'm going to love it. <laughs> to continue my journey, I need to go across the Broly Rail. And so for this one, I have to read a book that features transportation of some kind. So for this one, I will be reading The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. 
This one I've been so excited for, for so long, but I just, I've been saving it because it would be perfect for this prompt. Because this book first centres around a small village who every single year sacrifice a baby to the nearby witch, hoping for her protection for another year. However, this witch doesn't want to sacrifice the babies and so every year she transports them to another village, takes them to another family to raise, feeding them starlight along the way. However, this one particular year, she accidentally feeds the baby moonlight. Because of this, the baby starts getting magical powers that they just couldn't expect. She decides to adopt the baby for herself, called her Luna, and it's not too long before they realise she's going to start gaining more and more magical abilities as she grows. I just think this sounds so whimsical. I love it already. <laughs> And there's also a tiny dragon and apparently this dragon thinks it's huge and it's basically a chihuahua in dragon form. This just sounds adorable, like my heart melts just here in the synopsis. So I really hope I adore this. Oh, so excited. <laughs> And once I've made it across the Brolly Rail, that means I've made it to the final destination, which is the Bookkeeper's Stronghold. For this one, you have to continue a series, and it only seems fitting that since I'm starting the Morrigan Crow series at the beginning of this readathon, I should also end the readathon with Morrigan Crow. So, this one is Wondersmith, The Calling of Morrigan Crow. I don't know what this one is about, obviously, because I haven't read the first one, but this is the sequel to Nevermore and... I will hopefully get to both of these. They are both pretty chunky books, like I am surprised by how big these books are, but fingers crossed. Fingers crossed I've got this. <laughs> so this is my Believeathon TBR, however, I do also have some fantasy to throw in there because I also need to read Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb for Elder Lingalong. This is the second book in the Farseer trilogy. I absolutely adored Assassin's Apprentice and I cannot wait to continue the series. Assassin's Apprentice follows a boy who is the bastard son of a prince. This prince then abdicates his throne out of shame and just moves out of the city, leaving our main character to kind of just be raised by the stableman or the person who looks after his father's hounds, horses and hawks. However, he does seem to have some ability to communicate mentally with animals and because of his political status within the royal family, he just so happens to be in the exact position that would benefit being an assassin. The king then sets him upon this course of assassin training and the story goes from there. I adored everything about Assassin's Apprentice. I will leave a link to my wrap up with that in down below, along with a link to my written review on Goodreads and the Elder Ling Along live show for the first book. But I do need to read this one in May for the live show and it is pretty chunky so... I'm gonna make sure I'm reading this one first. <laughs> Another fantasy book that I'll be reading for a read along is The Tombs of Achuan? Achuan? I don't know how you pronounce that. <laughs> Which is the second book in the Earthsea series by Ursula Le Guin. I am hosting a read-along called Le Guin Along. If you've somehow missed that, I've been mentioning it a lot lately. <laughs> but this will basically be a continuation on from that read-along. The first book follows a boy who goes to a wizarding school, becomes one of the most powerful arc majors, but in his teenage years, I think it is, he's got a lot of ego. He's always had this power and so he's showing off one day and accidentally unleashes this demon on the world that just hunts him down, follows him everywhere. So the first book is him trying to get rid of that along with lots of other plot lines as well. I don't know what the second book has in store for us but I'm very intrigued to find out and as I'm filming this the live show for the first book is planned for the 2nd of April so tune in if you can. I'm excited to see where this series goes. And then just to finish this off, these ones aren't officially going on my TBR but these are the ones which as I'm filming this right now I'm really really feeling the need to read so I'm hoping I can get to at least some of these soon but I don't know which ones so instead I'm just going to show a stack of fantasy books and I want you guys to tell me which ones I should prioritize or which ones you'd like to see my opinion of or just just tell me which ones to read and I'll try and put that towards my decision making because I'm so bad at making decisions so help me out guys <laughs> so this is the stack of fantasy books that I just I'm so in the mood for at the minute. So we have A Queen in Hiding by Sarah Kozlov, The Bone Witch by Rin Chepeko, The Bone Houses by Emily Lloyd-Jones, and Cryer's War by Nina Varela. I won't go into too much detail with these ones now just because I don't know which ones I will get around to reading, but they will all be linked down below if you want to go and have a look what they're about. But yeah, this is, this is my stack that I want to read right now, but currently can't because I have other obligations. <laughs> But let me know which ones you'd like to see me read. So this is my full official TBR for me. Quite a stack there, but hopefully because most of them are middle grade books, I might be able to get through them a little quicker than usual. Although I say that, doesn't quite seem to work out that way for me ever. <laughs> 
let me know if you're taking part in Believeathon or if you're taking part in any other kind of readathons or read-alongs in this month. As for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to leave a like and a comment to let me know that you're here. If you're not subscribed already, then please consider doing so. Down in the description box you'll find information to everything I've mentioned in this video, all of my social media and other bookish stuff as well, so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. But for now, I hope you're having a lovely day and I shall see you next time with a new video. Bye!